when the evangelist Philip explained it to the eunuch. And when he was converted in Acts 8, 26 through 40. And Peter quoted from the book of Joel on the day of Pentecost. Uh, and you know, there was a time when 3,000 were saved. And another time when 5,000 were added unto the church right then and there. Jesus himself referred to the book of Isaiah when he spoke in the temple in Luke chapter 4, verse 17 and 21. Reading, and witnessing, uh, reading the word and witnessing revival do go together. You cannot be more spiritual than you are scriptural. Did you hear that? You cannot be more spiritual than you are scriptural. Anybody know what I'm talking about? You've got to have the Word of God for a great revival. If it don't match up with the Word of God, then it's not of God. Angels' feathers coming down. Yeah, I've heard it. I throw that out the window. <laughs> People do anything. One time there was a fad gold dust going around. I don't know about you, if I'd have been real gold dust, I'd have been gathering up all kinds of pots to collect that in. <laughs> you ever thought about it? If I'd have been real gold dust coming down from there, I'd have been gathering pots, I'd have been gathering that stuff. We'd have been going to one of them cash sell your gold places quickly. <laughs> well, people would, you know, would go into something like that. Where was it at in the Word of God? Now, let me tell you, there's other things going on. One of the latest ones is laying on the graves of dead saints and trying to suck up their anointing. Yeah, this is happening. Oh, we're real spiritual, but you're not scriptural. Just don't go along with it. You've got to be scriptural. I believe in the revival, scriptural ways, that it begins in the house of God. Let me tell you, revival is more than about a shout. Did you hear me? It's more than about a goosebumps. It's more about the man behind the pulpit. I tell people, if you come in here, don't come to see me. You come to experience God. If you want a picture of me, I'll autograph you one all day long. <laughs> I'm joking. No, it ain't about this man behind this pulpit. I'm just a messenger. I'm just a spokesman. I come to give you a word from the Lord. That God, I believe, wants to send revival to Houston town. The final one point right here is you got to worship let me tell you worship seems to be taken let me tell you out anymore people don't want to worship let me tell you I can worship sing on a screen as much as I can with a live band it's about getting into the presence of God <laughs> people don't say oh I don't feel like doing it no more well Everybody worships something or someone. It's coming here, let me tell you. I just assume shout for Jesus. It's getting ready to get my favorite season of the year. I love the fall because it's the begin it gives me a hope. About every July, August, I get a fresh hope. Training counts begin. Everybody's record zero and zero. Football's about ready to begin. Boy, I get fired up. I like football season. I know some others do too. Let me tell you, I watch these people on there. At, so, like up in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Anybody ever watch the Green Bay game? The Cheeseheads. It could be twenty degree, twenty below zero out there, and you'll have people out there just a dancing and a shouting those shirts on, painted up, going all crazy over it. It'd be different, but not. <laughs> No, what are you getting at? And people think that's the norm. But people think I'm a little crazy when my feet start moving when the, in the house of God, don't they? People think I'm a little crazy when I get, a, get talking about the Holy Spirit. As much as I love football, I'm not going to give it my worship. My worship belongs to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Did you hear me? He comes first and everything else comes second. Anybody know what I'm talking about? I, I'm telling you people think we're crazy. But if we're going to have revival, we're going to have to begin to get our minds focused. And we're going to have to begin to worship Him one more time. We're going to have to begin to praise Him one more time. We're going to have to get back and say, Lord, I don't care where I'm at. I may walk down the middle of a giant and all of a sudden 
The Holy Ghost hits me. Don't tell me he can't hit you there. I worked in a grocery store for years. I, I know what it's like to get start preaching a 30-minute sermon on the works to God schedule. <laughs> oh, I do it many times. Got in trouble one time. I said, oh, well. <laughs> they asked for it. Told, told me I couldn't wear my Jesus hat when they didn't have rules against it. I'm probably the reason they put the rules in. I said, well, they don't need to be wearing their hats with their ball teams on it because it offended somebody. This is back in the early 2000s before it really got bad. I said, well, I'm just going to wear his name no matter what until they change the pattern for everybody else. I said, I can't help but to praise his name. Anybody know what I'm talking about? I promise you this, if you get a hold of him, you ain't going to help but to praise his name. You can't help but to exalt the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody wants to, everybody worships something. Anybody know that? Everybody worships something. Some people may worship their self. Some people may worship their idols. But I choose to worship the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the one that paid that price on that cross that you and I could have eternal life, the one that shed that blood for you and I, the one that come out of the grave and the soon coming King of kings and Lord of lords. Anybody know what I'm talking about? If we're going to have revival, we've got to get back to these principles. Everyone standing in here this morning, how many in here want revival? How many in here want the move of the Holy Spirit? How many in here want God to show up? How many in here this morning would say, Lord, I want revival. Lord, I may need to do all seven of them. I may need to do two of them. I need to do maybe just be, do one of them. How many in here this morning would say, Lord, I want revival. We're going into revival. Lord, renew me. Lord, make me a new creation. Renew that fire. Renew that zeal. Renew that love that I once had for you, that it seems to be slacking. How many in here this morning would say, Lord, here am I. I want you to step out this morning and get in this altar. Here's where it begins. It begins in the altar before God. How many would say, I want revival this morning? How many would say, I want a move of God this morning? Is there others in here that would say, Lord, give me revival this morning? Give me revival this morning. Let me be renewed. Let me be experienced the revival of the Holy Ghost like I've never had before. Hold on, Cartel. She cut him.